Hello you lovely people of YouTube land and welcome back to a, another unboxing. Um, my camera is kind of like stuck on the table at the moment so I can't kind of tilt it like I did before with my tripod. It's being borrowed. So anyway, I have two packages here um, unboxing and both relating to the same thing which I've really got into quite well recently so um, I'm trying to put money by for this. So anyway, the first one I'll open is this one here. Um, I've taken my dress off, you know, you don't, it's not important that it's on there. And I don't want people to know where I live, you know. Um, so let's cut this one open. I know what's in here, but you don't. Well, at least I think I know what's in this package. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. This is, I've always wanted one of these. Oh, I'll put that down, that's my receipt. And a little bit more sellotape to cut. Actually, no, let's tell you what, let's just pull it out of the package, whatever is in here. There we go, my very own Mark III Ford Cortina. Right. This is starting me to my little journey to being the proud owner of a real Mark III Ford Cortina. Alright, let's take this out of this little box. Oh, it's hooked on. Come off, you little... That's kind of annoying. Come off, you little bugger. No, no, it, that does not want to come off and I really don't want to break it. So we can't take out the Cortina. It's got screws on the bottom there, but even if I do that, it's still stuck in here. But even so, it's a dust cover and it's the replica of the Ford Cortina that Noel Edmonds drove back in the 70s. Anyway. On to the next unboxing and due to its size I wonder if you can guess what this is yep you've guessed it I'm gonna cut in here. it's 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 um a real Ford Cortina yeah I wish a flat pack version from Ikea. <sighs> Any guesses yet? <sighs> there we go. My Mark III Ford Cortina Haynes Manual. So I can start reading about these things and learning about the car. Between 1970 and 1976 for a 1602 uh, 2 litre overhead cam. So I'm going to read this and study it. So when I do own a, own a Cortina, I can then um, start to work on it. It's in really, really clean condition. It's been well looked after so I'm quite happy about that so I'm definitely going to study this and um, enjoy the illustrations there but uh, yeah um, I'm really happy about these two and um, yeah I've got the bug anyway I'll catch you guys on the next video um, hopefully I'll have some progress with my other, th my other things going on and uh, 